Hello everyone! In this video, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung gagawin ninyo sa inyong performance task part 2. So, ang objective natin is to solve real-life problems involving right triangle trigonometry. So, specifically, i-apply niyo yung angle of elevation or angle of depression and then, i-apply din po natin yung trigonometric ratios. So, ang una ninyong kailangan or materials na kakailanganin ninyo is kailangan nyo ng clinometer. So, ang clinometer, ito po yung gagamitin ninyo para i-measure ang angle of elevation or angle of depression. And then, kailangan nyo din po ng measuring device or tape measure. Kung wala kayong measuring device or tape measure na tulad nito, pwede kayong gumamit ng ruler. Uh, marka, markahan nyo na lang kung saan kayo nag-stop. So, gagamitin naman natin ito to measure the distance between the observer and the object being observed. And, ang gagamitin ninyo ay inches as the unit of measurement para standardize tayo. Dito naman, sa clinometer naman, so, kung ito yung horizontal line of sight ninyo, Okay, sa limba ko, mag-observe ako. So, dapat make sure na nasa 0, 0 siya. Ayan po. And then, kung angle of elevation, syempre, yung straw natin, dyan kayo titinin. So, kung angle of elevation, yung object na ino-observe ninyo ay nasa taas. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, gumagalaw siya. So, kung saan nag-stop yung string or yung tali, iyan yung angle of elevation. For example, dito, nag-stop siya kay 30 degrees. So, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Kapag angle of depression naman, syempre, since angle of depression, ang object na ino-observe ninyo ay nasa baba. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung string po ay gumalaw din. So, kung saan siya nag-stop, yun po yung angle of yun po yung angle of depression. So, dito, ang angle of depression natin ay 30 degrees. Ganun lang po siya. So, as an example, ang naisip kong sukatin is gusto kong malaman kung ano yung height ng flagpole natin sa school. So, ang una kong gagawin is, syempre, kailangan may observer tayo. So, ang una kong kukunin is the angle of elevation since height of the flagpole yung gusto kong measure and then the distance between the observer to the object being observed or yung distansya sa pagitan ng observer at ng flagpole natin din sa school. So after determining the angle of elevation and the distance between the observer to the object being observed or yung angle, lang sukat ng angle of elevation na kuha na natin and then yung distansya sa pagitan ng observer at ng flagpole syempre identify nyo ano ba yung nire-represent ng bawat sukat so since ang, ang involve ay angle of elevation and then distance between the observer and the object being observed and then ang unknown is the height of the flagpole aalamin natin kung ano anong mga Kung ano, ano yung mga nire-represent ng bawat sukat. Is it the opposite side, the adjacent side, or the hypotenuse? Siyempre, given the angle of elevation is the reference angle. Since ang gusto kong hanapin is the height of the flagpole, that is the opposite side to the angle of elevation. And then the distance between the observer and the flagpole is the, adjacent, the length of the adjacent side. Since the involved are opposite side and adjacent side ang gagamitin ko ay tangent ratio